How you doing, everybody? Here we are, back for some fine Napoleonic action. With uh, playing uh, Napoleonic Total War Three. Here we are. Uh, we have the Austrian army under Mr. Johann here. That's what I'm going to call him. He's a good general of mine, not not superb, but good enough. He's facing off against an army, half of which is a citizen militia. And we're going to try and take Piedmont away from the, uh, from the French. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Uh, this will be the last area around Italy that I will need to take. Um, it is one of the victory conditions for the Austrian in the full campaign game. So, uh, here we go. We're gonna see what happens. All right. Four units of cavalry, including horse guards and light horse. We have one cannon and a boatload of infantry. Just a big old boatload of infantry. Grenadiers, line infantry, I don't see any light infantry. Oh wait, right there is a unit of light infantry. But, uh, yeah. There's a French army straight away across the way. Do I have any hills on, upon which to put my single gun? It looks like this is the hill. Or that is the hill, just out of my reach. Bring it up to here and shoot down on the French. Sounds like a plan. Alright, what do we got here? Lots of dudes. Alright, uh, that's all line infantry, it looks like. Put that on uh, that side of the gun. And these are a bunch of grenadiers and stuff. I'll put this on this side of the gun. All right. Uh, we have two units of cavalry which I will put on the right farther along on the right and the other two will go guess where on the left <laughs> they're already pretty much there and the general will go on this side and just gonna hang out. All right. Would have been nicer if I had a better, better piece of land to start, but that's okay. Where are the reinforcements coming? Okay, not from behind me. That's the important bit. That's all I really care about. All right, bringing the cannon up to here. And bringing these guys up to here and bringing these guys up 
up to here. And this guy to there. Let's see how that looks after everybody gets in place. I uh, fast forward a little bit. I don't think they're coming yet. And the French Army is filling out nicely. Is that the top of the hill? Just about. Okay. All right. These fellows. Like that. These fellows so much too tight. We'll go hide behind these trees. We'll maybe take advantage of the trees. All right, what kind of gun is this? Just oh, it's twelve pounder, sweet. 12 pounder, yeah, yeah, 12 pounder. Shoot these French too. That's a 10, one of those 10 gun monstrosities. Uh, shoot that. Knock that thing off the hill. I have hit them. That's that's something. They're shooting at my guys with their guns. Not very nice. Does look like they are uh, coming at me. Looks that way, anyways. Looks like this gun is shooting into the turf. I love that. I love that. You get to the highest point and you still end up shooting down into the mountains. That's because they're lower, shooting up. It's questionable, isn't it? I think it probably be better off shooting. Shooting at their cat, shooting at their cavalry. We're on the same level as my gun. If my gun can reach them, yeah, that ten gun monstrosity is blowing up my guy. So it's either back up. I think I'll just back up. There's no rush. Back up and get me on the ridge there. All right, my cannon did not shoot into the hill that time. That's good. Slowly killing cavalry. 
I'll let him get in position. He may very well then attack. They can still target my guys. Even though we're below the crest here. Yeah, not enough room on my mouse pad. Okay, I'm not hitting their cavalry anymore. Well, yes I am. Okay, I think I've taken my guys out of their cannon range. For now. Where are they going? <laughs> I wonder what they're... According to the little symbology of the game, they're not able to target my guys right now. They're on the low part of the hill instead of being up here. So yeah. These guns are not even aiming at anything. Just kind of chilling. What's happening there? I mean, I have time. They're right there in front of me. I don't need to rush. I did kill one of those one of my guys. See, I don't know how they're shooting through this hill. They wouldn't let me do that. He's not arching his shots. They're not they're not those kind of guns. They're direct fire. And they're not even not even unlimbered. So do they have another gun? I don't remember them having another gun. I wonder if a flanking maneuver is possible with my cavalry. Yeah, you're gonna have a hell of a time getting through my line, aren't you? You're gonna walk up to, oh, we can't do this. Oh, oh it's so hard. Well, they've actually moved their, moved their army. Away. Whoa, he's a big fella. Still have a few stragglers that aren't able to get through. Oh, we can't get by. It's too hard. Oh, 
Okay, there. They've moved back. Okay. They're trying to goad me into attacking with my cavalry, I think. They're gonna give me the cavalry unit. I will go ahead and take it. Yeah, I know I have to charge up the hill against them, but. He's running away. coming. I did not think they would come. They're going to be shooting soon. I think that counts as canister range. Ah, uh, pitter patter of Austrian guns. I know you're being shot at by cannons, but I need you to I need you to brave it. Builder General. Oh. That would be this guy. 
the fine work of the Austrian cavalry. There's a cavalry unit over here. I notice you guys aren't shooting at anybody. Gonna take out that dang gun monstrosity. Well, it looks like these guys have moved out of range of canister. Oh, now they've moved back to protect it. Frightened horses. Why are the horses frightened? Can of fire. Shoot that guy in the face. How did that guy rally? Oh, oh. Both of you quality units. I get you. I dig your chili. Now, question is, can this guy run down this entire line? That is Light Horse. Bunch of Hussars charging smashed up infantry. Oh, what? Apparently they're crap infantry, only good for killing generals. It's very disappointing. We can't, we can't hit these guys in line. They didn't even form square, but we still can't kill them.
we form the line, boys. They were fresh, too. I don't understand it. Fresh unit, they'd taken like two losses. They get attacked by units in line, not even in square, and it's just too much for them. See, that unit did it. That 10 gun thing is on the phone again. I'm gonna try and snake it with it in cavalry, because that's what I do. Have you blown those guys to pieces yet? Run over there, please. Run over there, please. Winded. Oh, they're running. Uh, now I'll see if you can now I'll see if you can kill him with him running. Time to charge the guns. Slick. Slaughter these routed units so that they don't rally. That gun may come back, may rally. But this one is the prize. The 10 gun, 159 guys, or 210 guys were in it originally but they don't like to be run over by cavalry. They really don't like being hit by cavalry. It really ruins their day. There's a unit of 104 cavalry horse guards back there. Oh, that's the leader of, the, of this rabble. But, but they haven't come.
All right. That's happening on that side. What's happening on this side? Guys are kind of soft fighting. Infantry units coming up. It's small though. Winded. There we go. That guy's still in square. <laughs> Boy, I've kind of forgotten about the right flank here. All right. French army is in tatters. Except for that guy. I, don't, I think that guy's too low on the crest of the hill for me to shoot. Better if I didn't have to use those units. I wonder if I can even hit that guy. I slaughter more of them. There we go. Oh, they're a militia. They're not likely to rally. All right. There is one unit left sitting there in the woods. Two. Let's gather some of my biggest units of infantry. Oh. Eyes are terrible.
Alright, speed up the game a little bit. I don't think any of them are going to rally. But this guy is going to make me uh, kill him in person. What? Somebody rallied. Damn it. Exhausted. I appreciate that this big unit of cavalry is content to sit back there. They're exhausted. And now their guys are starting to die. They're also being shot at by a cannon. And there they go. for the gun so we don't shoot ourselves. And do 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 speed up guys. Oh, I see they're different types of squares. They can form different types of squares. Hit one. I wonder if they're just going to sit there and let me shoot at them. I don't mind. I guess the turnabout is fair play over there. Stood and stand, stood in line formation and shot at my cowboy and didn't route when I hit them. So these guys are just content to sit there and let me shoot them. I appreciate that. It's much easier to handle. Don't have to form square. Just shoot at you until you run. Uh, I really don't need to do it any faster than that. I don't need to destroy you. Like being cavalry over or anything silly like that. I'm just going to shoot you while you stand. As you hope that some of your guys magically rally. Down 30 guys. Still there. Oh, they're concerned about the casualties they sustained. Oh, they're losing slightly.
one of their horseless rider, oh, one of their riderless horses came charging at my line and then we shot it. <laughs> That's a waste of resources, boys. You already killed the guy, you didn't need to shoot the horse. What, now you're gonna charge? After you've lost half your force? Why would you just stand there? Concerned by the casualties they've sustained. They've lost 60 guys. And they haven't blown their bugles to attack. Five guys. I mean, they're horse guard cuirassiers. They're some of the best Napoleon would ever field. Best heavy cavalry Napoleon would ever field. Certainly high morale. Not gonna break under most cases. Oh, what? Form square boys. And they route. <laughs> they waited until they were about to route before they charged. That's interesting. Didn't lose anybody. Didn't gain a ton of experience in my lower lower level lower echelon guys, but I don't think they had fought yet, so that is not so hard to understand. Um I think I have to kill them. Automatically. Thank you. Oh, come on. I had plenty of movement. Why can't I move into the city? Oh, I did. Okay. Just the cavalry, though. Oh, wait, maybe everybody but the gun can do it. Yeah, everybody but the gun. The gun is too slow. All right, well, that's better. Okay. Having taken care of Northern Italy, Except maybe right here in Venice. Why do I show up? Why is there a fire burning in Venice? There should not be a fire burning in Venice. Why is a fire burning in Venice? Maybe it's just a lot of smoke. I don't know. I could build a couple of grenadiers, but I think I'll just build some line infantry there. Because if they're not going to attack it, then I'm going to grow guys there. Oh, that's right, I was planning on just attacking him. But he seems so comfortable right there. It's like, yeah, I don't want to attack. 
I don't want to attack. I don't even want to attack Venice. I'm very disappointed that the Russian army moved away, though. It's like, where are you going? What are you? What else did you have to do? What are you, what are you doing? Didn't I just smack you guys around? <sighs> well, I am going to have to kill those guys. Freaking Prussians. Be nice if the Russians did anything to help. Uh, it's a really strong army I have here, but these guys can cause me a lot of trouble. So I have to decide how to handle it. Probably killing this unit and then killing that unit. spy over here. I probably don't. Where the heck are my spies? Way up there. Way right down there. And way over there. Yep. No spies. Wait, what was, I have one spy way the heck up there. Why is he up there? Oh, not him, not him. Yeah, that, that fool. Come over here and look at, look at Prussian stuff. Well, at this turn I have one, two, three more fights. This will be the hardest out of all of them, although that army is beaten up. If this is an army I've faced before, then these cannons are probably just barely there. And their cavalry, cavalry are probably even worse off. Didn't want to have to fight them at all, but the Russian army left. Took me about General Mac is moving that way. You know, if I just struck Paris and won, I think I win the game. They have a heavy, heavy cavalry unit, cuirassiers, and and first division of the Imperial Guard. Going to try to infiltrate Paris. Success. All right, that'll tell me exactly what they have there. Looks like a bunch of untrained line infantry. And also, the old guard. It's not a full army though, so this will fill up with citizen militia. That guy will be there, and that guy will be there, but that's not a concern. This is... Oh man, what an army. 
completely healed up, lots of cavalry, lots of quality cavalry, my best general, and they're all heavily experienced and healthy, and I have no reason not to take Paris. So. And, uh, that looks like a, that looks like an auto fight. Because this is so easy. <laughs> okay. I won. And that, as they say, is that. Peacefully occupy the Paris. I have fulfilled all the victory conditions, taking northern Italy, two cities in northern Italy, and Paris. And uh, probably a certain amount of other cities that I don't remember. Oh yeah, all those German cities. Uh, well, this has been fun. I'll probably do it again as the French, and, uh, I'll probably post those videos too. Uh, I don't think I'm going to continue this as much as the Prussians deserve to be smacked around. I, uh, I don't feel the need to conquer all of Europe. I just had to put Napoleon in his place and uh, establish the Holy Roman Empire for years to come. <laughs> All right. Um, this is Joe Mo Rising signing off with victory.